We already saw that that shitstorm of a San Andreas had been uh, redone and then put out on new consoles and whatnot. It decided to revive uh, an old, an old, uh, an old game. Um, it looks like they decided to take it even a step further and put it on the Oculus. Uh, <laughs> I thought this was really interesting that they would choose to go this route, um, but I see it working. Only because uh, the graphics aren't really that, uh, you know, they're not they're not far advanced, so it's not going to be too much of a pull on the uh, on the unit. And I think, I mean, I think the the Oculus gives like pretty decent graphics and whatnot, but obviously it wouldn't be giving us like no 4K type shit, um, you know. So to play this on here, I actually think it it would be doable. And I think it actually might be pretty fun to play it in first person and be actually touching shit if it plays just like San Andreas does. But I mean, then you're going from third person to first person. So, I mean, how do you guys feel about that? Like for me, this has to be full function VR, not just like I'm putting a screen on my eyes and I'm using a controller. If I can like turn my head and like look around the world and like, yeah. and, like, like you said, use my controller to grab things, pick and, up like, the gun. Interact, then yeah, this yeah. might be really neat and this might be low res enough because this is old ass we talked about this already this is old ass looking game so this might yeah. be like um low low quality enough to run like that on vr then you might have something here that is a lot of fun and i love la noir so like i'm happy with them being the ones behind developing this game because la noir was sick I loved it. It was. It was fire. I mean, that's an okay. older game, but it's it was definitely fire. I yes. loved L.A. Noir. So, so, like, this is cool. Yeah, my only uh, potential gripe with this is for the L.A. Noir VR case file game, it's my understanding that they strip content from the main story. You can't Probably. do everything. Probably. You can't do everything that you can do in the regular game. So, with that being said, I really hope that you can do this is a full game like you guys were saying this has to be the full content because if it's a stripped yeah. san andreas it might be a pass but i think you know skyrim i mean bethesda when they released skyrim a bazillion times with vr on on refrigerators rockstar is doing the same thing with all these grand theft autos we're gonna mm -hmm. see them till eternity being remade so i got a question for you guys um in grand theft auto there's there's like you know, there's a lot of uh, third person, you know, cutscenes or whatever, you know, a lot of where you're, you're seeing basically you're just watching the story. Um, right. So with this being in VR, do you think that they cut out those scenes altogether or do you think that they put you in the scene? So you're just in uh, CJ's body while, you know, that normal cutscene would be happening. And so you're seeing people roll up you know, or or come at you and talk to you or whatever and different stuff like that. Like, how do you think they'll handle that? I think you can just zoom out and watch the scene from this from your screen and your eyes. Mm -hmm. um, or you or they could put you in there. Whatever. I'm like what Mark's at, wherever it lets them keep the full game. That's what I'm talking about when I say, like, I think this game is low res enough that they should be able to um um, be able to fit it in the power should be able to handle it. I would think this is low res enough. Like, is this finally a low res enough AAA game that they can actually give you a full experience? Cause yeah. I think LA Noir was probably a little bit too new. So they probably had to like slim it and cut it. I'm hoping that this isn't, and you can actually well, also, get a full experience here. Also LA Noir. Wasn't that like, was that a PS3 game? That's a PS4. Or was that a PS4? Four. Four, I that might've been PS3. I think three, four, Three and uh, four, yeah. So it might have just been like extremely graphically uh, taxing, you know, to be because you had to study faces and stuff like that in L.A. Noir. You know what I mean? You had to decide to decipher whether a person was lying or if they were telling the truth. And I think those type of details might have been a lot for the system to pump out or whatnot. Right. So maybe that's why they slimmed things because down. San Andreas was a PS2 game, right? Right. Shit so was old as fuck. It's a very old game, and so I'm hoping if that is finally old enough, they did up the, they did up the. I don't want to say Size. graphics, but they upgraded the visuals, 
right. of um, GTA San Andreas to this new cartoon style. So I'm hoping that that little bit of change doesn't make it all of a sudden unplayable mm-hmm. in a full full form uh, VR version. But if it if it's able to be able to a full form VR game, then I think this will be a good this is a good idea. This should be this is the, this is the best we can get on a VR for like a GTA experience. Like this is this will be good. I think I just I don't know if we'll get a full game. I really don't. VR is just yeah. <sighs> VR man. It's frustrating. Yeah, I hope that I hope that that's what it comes to because I I would uh I think I would definitely enjoy trying to play this one. I mean, obviously it's on Oculus or whatever, but if this was, I mean, a lot of things just start at Oculus and then once they work well there, then they just port them over. So you know, we could see this in the PSVR, and you know that might be something that I'd be willing to to go for. Or if they were to give it as a PS Plus game or something like that, that would be like a go. You know what I mean? I might uh, actually attempt to go back and play it if i could just play it in first person and be you know touching shit and things like that you know i have like a full solid game with all of the crazy missions and shit like that i think that would be dope and then i, I feel like uh, san andreas would give you a hell of a workout man if you're doing this shit in vr and you gotta run and you gotta freaking ride your bike and swim and shit like that <laughs> i feel like you would be tired as fuck after you got done playing this game you're like, shit, okay, I got an hour. All right, let me just go swim in the lake real quick. You just have out there just trying to co- go across to another uh, an island or something like that. That shit would be fun as fun. I don't know how intensive it will be like that. You got to like. Well, I mean, if you got to move your arms or whatever to actually <laughs> swim, like <laughs> your shit would get tired after a minute. And then let's say you put your yeah. arms down and you slowly start to like sink. So you gotta you gotta keep pedaling just to stay afloat or something. That that would be funny as hell. They should have like a joystick to move, but it'd be like you can move your arm out to like grab things or hold your arms up to like point and aim your gun. But like mm-hmm. to move, I have to like shimmy my arms. That would that would be kind of cool. That well, if you you guys never played it, but uh, Planet of the Apes, I always say that I liked Planet of the Apes and how they you they chose to do the movement. And that one because you would basically just take your uh mm-hmm. your your two controllers, your move controllers, and move, and that's how you would go forward. Um, I never cared for the way that they chose to do movement in like um uh Skyrim and stuff like that, because it was either a teleporting or you held your sticks up and you moved them in the direction that you wanted to go, and it, it just didn't work out well with me. I didn't I didn't like that shit at all. So I mean if they if they got like some movement stuff where you can like you know move your arms or whatever to spread forward or something, I think like your mind would be able to wrap around your movement speed a lot better and it would just be a little bit more entertaining, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. Like you you start shooting and then you drop the gun and just you know, <laughs> it just start spinning <laughs> at somebody and then just start punching them or whatever in the face. The faster I you think move that your arms, the faster you are. Yeah, yeah. Like <laughs> Just be trying to go at it. Yeah, that shit would be fun, man. <laughs> I can see stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and you got the knife in your head, just like running. <laughs> you can like turn your head back around to see they're chasing you. <laughs> you run into a wall or something. <laughs> yeah, that'd be funny, man. But um, yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing like um some actual gameplay. And stuff like that of the VR game, and then uh, hopefully see you know if they port it out any further uh, than just the Oculus, you know, see where we go from there. For sure. But uh, yeah, so fellas, I guess that's it for this week. Um, thanks everybody for uh, joining us tonight uh, to talk about stuff. Uh, we appreciate you guys. So Squid Air TCB, you know, we appreciate you guys for dropping in. Um, anybody else who's checking out this video later, go ahead and hit us a like if you haven't yet. Subscribe. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, uh, go ahead and hit this, uh, the the subscribe, man. Throw us a free subscribe or something like that up in that piece, man. Uh, but we're here every Friday, 6.30. Um, we was a little bit late because we had to deal with some stuff before we started just to get some things straight, but we all good. Um, but, yeah, so um, until next week, we'll catch you guys later. Deuces. Peace. See you. I love you, mate.